E for marketwizard.com and eminiwizard.com. Wrapping up the morning session about to 11.30 on the 16th of October, 2019. Mining traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. Well, we've had a good session, I believe. We've talked about a lot of things in private videos. <clears throat> and we've talked about hidden pivots and we've talked about the 97 and a half and why that was a hidden pivot just ahead of the gap. And this is a problem for a lot of traders. Every one of us has to deal with the idea of risk and reward. When do you want those last couple of ticks and it costs you four or five and a bleed back? And this is typical in this business. And today is a lot more gentle type consolidation day rather than yesterday's rah, rah, rah. And then subsequent pullback and finding support um, right where we thought it should be. So if you played the 82 to 85 support zone for the half gap, 93.75 and then potentially the gap we said <clears throat> don't give back you know five six points to make one more make sure you were paid by 96 as we liked and then if you're looking back at your chart you can see the bulk of the range that we said let's play the range let's think consolidation make sure you're paid coming into 96. So just missing the gap close. And sometimes that's the, those couple of ticks cost you a lot more if you're stubborn. So we have so far suggested the play range today. Not think of it as anything more than morning after trend day, double. And we'd had the doubles up here. Still have a double top and we said hidden pivot again. This zone right behind us is still resistance too for now. Into yesterday's high zone. So keep that in mind as the day progresses. We loved the 10 minute chart. We thought that would be helpful today for longs. Coming into the rain line, perfect support has helped in a consolidation of yesterday's big move. And probably our favorite chart today was understanding that if we took yesterday's range and we looked for its middle, we know that the support zone should be this breakout to the 84.75, 85. And we hope that that would hold for a pushback towards the middle, if nothing else. Which we got. So just understanding that the importance of that. Understanding the importance of yesterday's middle as support first time back helped us a lot today to think conservatively about the long side, certainly not bearish, especially when you look at the five RTH, you know, gotta, gotta think that the rain line is still supportive. We noted this spin bar right here and we thought that would be the, gotta break that zone. If so, then you open up the door to come down deeper and not until. So I'm interpreting this as over and under and certainly morning after trend day, but more neutral today, just the market catching its breath. Hope you had a good morning. Hope these charts have helped you. Hope our dialogue has helped. And I'll see you guys in the Slack room. Middle just below us, 91 and a quarter. Anybody coming back into the, the 91s to 92s paid for sure and good fortune below. See you in the Slack room.